if you have ever been into my pants, no, we're not doing that. I went to his email, block, 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 block. Ah, that's what she said to me. You sound like you have an accent. I guess he really does like exotic girls. I'm like, bitch, yes, I am exotic. No. What's up, what's up, everybody? This is Mart Afro. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are talking about the ex. We all have those. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the question becomes, should you remain friends with your ex? Velma, you've had like a hundred of those. Yeah. No, she didn't. <laughs> Listen, when I die, God will say I used my life. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have a few associates. And then I have a few exes, um, which is people I respect and we actually had meaningful relationships. Should you be friends with your ex? Me, yes, my husband, no. <laughs> so selfish, so selfish. I can be, let me not lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, yeah, I've done it. Not every ex. I do have a few exes who um, were very good friends. One, because... One that I can think of because we were exes when we were kids, like we were kids for real. So now it's like just kind of, oh, you know, we're like cheerleaders on that background. It's not anything else. Yeah. Um, I have had an ex that I had from my young adulthood. So just before I got married the first time, and we went to school together, and we stayed friends mm-hmm. all these years. Mm-hmm. Was that the wisest thing to do? Um, story that's coming later in this, maybe not so much. Um. Because after a while, some things got blurred and you realize we, we might be trying to be friends, but the fact that we are exes carries too much behind it. And so you're not able to be genuine friends. I do have exes who are most recent and it's like, no, bro, no. They always like, do you want to be friends? Mm, no, I'm, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Now, my mm. husband and his exes being friends, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so selfish, so selfish. To me, I say it is. If you're ever been into my pants, no, you're not doing that. You're not being my friend. You're not being my friend. And I understand when you say, you know, when growing up, of course, you know, it wasn't serious. I mean, we were thinking it's going to be serious, but, you know, we, it's never going to. But once you settle down, like, you know, you become mature and you have this serious relationship yeah. and you engage and you indulge, you know, in everything, in every aspect. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, if the children are, not, if you don't have any children, if you, no children involved, I say this. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't happen. That to my husband, if you beat it, you can't be with it. Like that's it. That's, that's it. what I'm saying. But I'm going to be honest and say, have I kept exes as friends? Yes. Um, huh. <laughs> How has, can I ask you? So you've kept them as friends. Uh, how has it affected your relationship? Um, so, they do not. So this, this, is, this is my rules for being friends. So as, as a young person, as I said, so there's an ex I had as a young adult, and we stayed friends for years, years. Mm-hmm. And we were yeah. close in terms of he knows my parents, I know his parents. If he ever needed something, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. boundaries. So that's the thing is boundaries. Mm-hmm. My only problem with this ex is we dated again later in life. And I think that became a function of us trying to remain friends. Is that at a certain yeah. point now you start saying, oh, we've been friends so long and we know each mm-hmm. other. Is this fate that we're both in this place at this time and now we're both single and we try it again? Disaster. Don't do it. <laughs> Play with fire. Play with fire. There's a reason mm-hmm. I didn't know that first yeah. time. <laughs> but while we were friends, I will say it was a good support system for me. There's times where I'm moving. Yo, I need a boy to come help me. He's my first friend. He'll come. You know what I mean? Those little things. Can it affect your relationship if you let it? Yes. Because I guess it's someone you have memories, right? Kuna ulam to then look at you and, okay, Sarah looks cute. But that's his thoughts and nobody cares about it, right? But an ex is the one person that will have the guts to tell you, you look really cute today. Because they know what you look beyond that dress right? They know how you look like beyond that. So I don't think it's a good idea. I do think more people do it than they should. Not a good idea. Right now, married, no exes. As, actually, I'm lying. My ex-husband, we're buddies. But again, that's a buddyship of respect. So we were friends ever since we got divorced. Buddies. And not buddies like go out and drink together. Buddies yeah. in how are you doing? Text mm-hmm. them okay once in a while and when i did get serious with my husband the first thing i did is let him know 
I let my husband know this is my ex-husband. We've remained friends over the years. These are the boundaries of the relationship. And yeah. I had to sit together, have a cup of coffee, introduce them. This is my first husband. This is my then boyfriend. And because I wanted them to have that mutual respect. I don't want him to ever look in my phone and see a missed call from him and think there's anything more. And with that, the ex also respected me. You're, you're not calling me after nine o'clock. That, you know, you're not calling me without a reason. You know I have a person in my life. To me, to me, I feel like if they have moved on, then mm-hmm. that's fine. Because but what you'll, you will be, you th- th- that's not good because they're still hoping that you come back. Not always though. I think it depends on how you ended the relationship, who ended the relationship. Because if every time you're breaking up, someone loves you more than whoever is breaking up. Okay, so, the, and whoever loves you more will be like, can we just remain as friends? Because yeah. they are hoping, they are hoping something is going to happen. That's what I'm saying. You're playing with fire. It is kind of fire. I feel in this particular case, just the ex-husband, not the other exes, just the ex-husband, I feel like our friendship was more, it just grew. It wasn't like, let's be friends. It's more of, we had so much intertwined, right? You got bills intertwined, you got credit cards. So even when you're broken up, you're still communicating about these things. And you got to a place where it's like, we can either argue or we talk about this or break off things slowly. And within that, there was mutual respect. Literally, when we signed our divorce papers, we sat, had dinner and signed the papers. We didn't have tension. We didn't have fights. And I always respect that because we knew where we had reached. Now, is that something every partner can take? No. That's something I had to ask my husband. Are you comfortable that on my birthday, he would talk? This guy will only talk to me certain times. Happy birthday. Happy Mother's Day. Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? It's not an everyday, hi, good morning, blah, 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 blah. And if something major has happened within the family, then he'll let me know, which I will do as well. Be okay with that. And I'm conscious enough of my husband because I know how I feel when it comes to exes, that I don't do anything beyond the same thing. Because you have to be careful about you, who is prolonging the recovery period, you know, mm-hmm. after heartbreak, not giving each other time to recover, time to heal. No. And then and, and, forward. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. very smart. I think the first thing you would do if you ever consider, if you're the kind who will consider being friends with an ex, is you need to break completely at first. Because then you can try, depending on who you are, you can try and do friendship without emotions. I'm not into we broke up, but we are staying friends because there's just too much going on. I, I can see your face, so I know you're still not feeling it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not buying that. Because I feel like, you know, you're either going to be an emotional dumping site, you know, whenever something is going on, oh my gosh, this is good. And then that's what I said, if they have not moved on, because right. if they have moved on, then they will not keep on talking to you about it. And there's a difference. There's a difference between a divorce, you know, if I was married to you, right. then I got, you got introduced to my family, you have this kind of a relationship with some, some of my family members. This is different. You know, but when it's, it's a relationship that has, it did not have any commitments to it, I agree, agree, agree completely. I agree completely because, I mean, even if it's, um, again, if it's not marriage, if it didn't go that deep, even if we know each other's family members, I think you need to cut it. But I also think family members need to cut it. I don't expect to see my sister talking to my ex. I'll just be like, like, sis, like, no. But I I understand and and I do believe exes should not really be your friend for the most part. I have to add for the most part. (laughs) <laughs> but you've never thought that maybe there's an ex in your life that you're actually just generally really good friends and maybe you tried the relationship thing which was you reading your energy wrong but it's just someone that was put in this earth to just be a really good friend to you like no, they, no, no for me no so what advice would you give to people like me who might still have some exes that are friends what do we do shut them down today and dead it or what do we do not shut them down today but try to move into that direction of cutting it down slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, you know. And again, it comes down to, you know, it is not like uniform. You know, it depends on individuals. Because yeah. if it's working for you, I cannot come saying, oh, you know, you should do this and this and this. Don't you think? It's, you have to be uniquely you, like you always tell us. Yes. <laughs> uniquely you. <laughs> I, I do, though. I, I, I do agree, though. Excess should be cut off. I, I do, because my husband... They should. They should. And especially especially if there are no children involved, you know, credit cards, <laughs> no excuse. Ah! <laughs> How about the people who keep exes as a plan B just in case? That's a problem. Now, I have to tell you, listen to me. 
you know, when, when, when I met my husband, you know, I met, and then, you know, I was not the only one. I have told, I've told you to you about this. I, I wasn't the only one. I went to his email, block, 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 block. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it because I did the same with first husband. And I never, I never told him that I was doing it. You didn't tell him? No, you don't tell them. Yes, you don't yes. tell them. Block, 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 block. But what if he still reaches out? Because you say you block the girl from reaching him, but what if your, par your partner still reaches out to them? No, I knew, I, uh, for me, I knew he wasn't. Oh, so okay. I knew he was not doing that. Okay. I knew that other people were doing it. Yes, yes. So yeah. I don't know, because if, he, if he's still trying to reach them, you, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, no, I did that with the first hobby because I, I remember and when we got our first place and every morning at 7 a.m. his phone would ring. And I'm just like, he wouldn't pick it up either. So the one day he was, I, I picked up the phone and there's another lady and she asked, can she speak to so-and-so? And I said, um, he's sleeping, can I help you? Yes. He went on to claim that she was his girlfriend and she didn't understand why he wasn't taking her calls and blah. And I actually freaked out. I had to look at him like, we just moved in together. Like, are you kidding me after all this time? And then we moved in together. We're planning a wedding. And, and he was like, no, that's my crazy ex. And I know dudes say it a lot, but I yes. love he had the receipts. He had emails she's been sending back and she's been sending to him. He showed me the last time he communicated with her, which is over a year before that, telling her, you got to stop this and her sending those emails. Oh, That's God, listen. I, I do this, that, I, the other. And the first thing she said to me is, you sound like you have an accent. I guess he really does like exotic girls. I'm like, bitch, yes, I am exotic. Okay. <laughs> listen, but I, learned, I, had a, I had a crazy one, too. You know, oh, yeah? I had a crazy one. You know, and, and, and I, I, I texted her. I was like, you know, don't do this. I'm yeah. here. Yeah. You know, she calls back. She calls. Bitch should be bold as hell, huh? She did. She did. And she goes back. I'm like, yes, hello. I'm picking up his phone. Yes. What, 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 what is it that you want? What do you what know? You want? We live in New York City. We live in New York City. You are all the way in Massachusetts. Trying to find somebody. I mean, this girl was in the Virgin Islands. I'm like, sis. She's trying to convince me. She's like, well, he's still my... I'm like, sis, there's no way. I've been with this guy almost a year. I have never... Ne like, do you know what I mean? But the yeah. problem is, as women, going back to one of our videos about normalizing trauma, unfortunately, women know to do this because you know, there's women who jump on that and it'll break them. There's women whose first reaction will be like, oh, you're cheating on me. Oh, blah, blah. You see? So it's really... Oh, listen to me. Yeah. After the call, we had some good time. We went for breakfast. Oh my! Uh, it's not gonna happen. She said she got her oh and breakfast. Okay. <laughs> but and, and the other thing that I would say to chicks who like to do that, if anything, you just solidified to me that I got me a good one. If you're still chasing it like that, honey, okay. <laughs> I'm on it. I will be on it. And thank you very much <laughs> for ruining your own chances of ever coming. <laughs> true, 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 true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever you guys decide, though, listen, let us know in your comments. Should you stay friends with your ex? Should you not? Is that even an option in your household? Let us know your unique experiences. We love, love, love to hear from you. Yes. Thank you for tuning in to the Mod Afro Mamas, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.